to watch our vehicle pull that space shuttle. That'd be amazing. This is just an extraordinary opportunity. The strength of this truck was born from our engineers tearing down competitive trucks, new ones and old ones, looking for the weak points, looking where they failed, why the engines may have seized, why transmissions give up, and more importantly, looking to see how we could make Tundra even better. We're excited to show the world what Tundra can do. It's a half-ton truck with the heart of a three-quarter ton truck. It's a truck off of the production line, no modifications to it that's going to be pulling the space shuttle, but I have no doubt that it's going to hold up. In the heart of Tundra is its powertrain. We built Tundra with bigger components, not simply for the sake of using larger components, but we overbuilt it, which simply means powerful parts working in sync to handle larger jobs more efficiently. This is a 5.7 I-Force V8 engine, 381 horsepower, 401 pounds-feet of torque. So it's one thing to have an engine that produces a lot of torque. It's another thing to deliver that torque to the wheels. The torque coming off the engine is multiplied through the transmission and the rear differential. By putting in a large rear differential, including a large ring gear, what we're able to deliver is more towing capacity in a half-ton truck. The towing capacity of the truck, 10,400 pounds, it isn't what it really can tow. It can tow tremendously more than that. We're going up to where it's going to be towing over 300,000 pounds. This is the real load of what the Space Shuttle Endeavour actually weighs with the actual unit that's going to transport it on the day. Okay, everybody stand clear. The end of that drive shaft with that pinion gear engages the 10 and a half inch ring gear starts that initial pull from a dead stop, that's where the Tundra performs and actually gets the job done. 